I worked for ABC. I was uh, a sound tech, which meant mostly putting microphones on people. Um, I had been a mixer on Broadway and a sound mixer. I got way into theater and sound. I loved it. It was a great career. I really loved doing it. But I wasn't a very good engineer. I, you know, I came from the music side of it, so I, I never got really good at, at all the technical aspects. So I ended up just, you know, putting microphones on people and trying to just be spontaneous and ready. It's kind of all you had to do. So I was on Good Morning America. I worked on the floor. And I was not at work that day. But I immediately, that, that's what I did after the dust settled. You know, I think it was around one, one o'clock that I, I called. No, no, that's not true. It was just still in the morning because they were on the air. And I called, and of course they were all insane in the booth. I called the sound booth and I talked to the chief engineer and I said, what's going on? Why tell me what you guys are doing? Are you going down there? Can I get in a van? Can I get down there with you? And it was just chaos. And um, they couldn't really talk to me, you know, and they, I just, I had to get off the phone. So I, I could have gone down there. I should have, I wish I'd just jumped on a train and gone down there and, and maybe I could have gone down. But what would it have been, Fruitful, I don't know. Um, in the end, I, I kept working there. They were so kind to me. I came, the, the first day I came back to work, they had collected money and handed me an envelope of money. I mean, it was so, you know, people just didn't know what to do. And Diane Sawyer came up to me and said, I, let me know if there's anything I can do. Anything I can do. And, and um, Charles Gibson was like that too. He, I mean, he was the one I think who started the money collection. I, I'm not sure, but he was. A, they were wonderful, and and so one day they were talk. You know, there were lots. It was on the news every day, and and I started listening to like, oh, you know, it was starting to move in that direction of invading Iraq and you know, war, weapons of mass destruction, all that. Pardon me, crap, and I knew it was just in my heart I mean I'm I just knew it wasn't true and so I said to Diane Sawyer at one point I said why don't you guys are talking to all these people I think you ought to talk to me I think you ought to hear what I have to say because I don't want them to invade Iraq and I don't think Saddam Hussein had anything to do with this They're kind of well it took a while, but in December they did an interview with me. And I, I really hoped I could get my, they would really talk about what I wanted to talk about. And they talked to me for eight hours. Well, things happened. Diane Sawyer, I asked, uh, Diane Sawyer ended up doing the, inter was supposed to do the interview, she did not. And it was um, one of the people who also is on that, does the interviews. I can't think of her name. Um, and, and in fact, that's not true. It was her producer that interviewed me. And it, it was a lot like this, like she didn't say anything. It, it was as if I was talk, supposedly talking to Diane Sawyer when the thing came on the air, but I, it wasn't her. It was her producer. And they, they, they cut eight hours of interview into, you know, a, three minute piece and it opened with um, not Diane Sawyer was not on, in that day and in fact it was December 26th and George Bush was on that day and so th they were going to have me on live while well, they called me and said sorry you can't be on live because they knew what I was going to say they didn't want me on they didn't want me to say what I was going to say and the whole interview was about it, it started with and here's Jessica our sound who works works on Good Morning America and on and lost the love of her life and so the story was about Steve and it was me it was me talking it was about what he was like and what we did the day before September 10th was our wedding anniversary of all things and you know what that day was like and they interviewed my brother and he was talking about you know how great it was that Steve got this great job at Windows on the World and he was happy again and he you know if he had to go it was a great way to go you know <laughs> and 
And I watched this. Of course, I talked about Afghanistan. I talked about bombing. I talked about, but none of that was on. And you know, I understand. I mean, okay. You know, you just, you can't fight City Hall. I mean, that's what it felt like. ABC was owned by Disney. You know, I, I, they're a corporate entity. I mean, how could they let me say what I was going to say? It's too bad because there's such a feeling that that's saying boo America, and it's not. You know, I think America's the greatest country in the world. I do. I wouldn't live, I don't want to live anywhere else. I mean, I love Europe, I love places in Europe. But we've got a great thing going here, but why we have to have more? Why do we have to have more? Why? Why are we doing that? And in the name of protecting people, right? You know democracy. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't buy it.